Hi, so this video is for the people who are following my, um, my character modeling video and at the beginning of the video, part one, are having problems with the, uh, have, having a gap uh, uh, between the model within this side and that side. So I want to address uh, fixing that. So let's go ahead and let me first make it so that I have a gap. It seems like I already have one. Let's see. Okay. So I have a gap right here. Let's say it's more extreme like that. And I don't know why that happened. And sometimes my app um, messes up. It's not your fault. Sometimes you can enable ref when you enable reflection, it still allows you to open that gap, even though you have reflection enabled. Uh, so sometimes you want to increase the tolerance for your reflection under the seam tolerance. So if you set that higher, select that, still letting me move that, so I may have it higher. And since I already have a gap here, that's kind of why it's allowing me. But basically, um, if you want to make sure, we well, have to fix the gap first, and after that, um, you can increase your seam tolerance here to something higher so that uh, it works better. So there's a higher tolerance for it, and it doesn't allow you to open this hole here by mistake. And sometimes it's just Maya that just messes up. And if you see that, you may want to undo and disable enable reflection a few times here. Sometimes that makes it work. Sometimes it does not. Sometimes it's just not your, not your fault. But basically, the easiest way is select the edges. Let's go all the way here. So you have your gap there. So Maya up here, you have a section where you can type. Uh, a value for X, Y, and Z. And if you don't see that, it's probably because it's collapsed like this. So you can click here so you can actually see it. So I'm working on my X axis. And how do I know that? Well, right here, you can see that Y is up and X is going that way. So that way is X. So I'm working on my X axis here. So you can just type 0 there and press Enter. And voila, it fixes the gap. And I didn't do it all the way, so I might want to do that. Click here, type 0, press enter, and it fixes my gap. Okay. So that's the easiest way to fix that. And again, uh, that will not work if you did not create your model in the origin of the grid like I did in the video. By that I mean um, it has to be in the origin. So this is the origin line, goes right straight through him. As you can see it's perfectly lining up, except for here, I need to fix that. But anyway, if you did not do that, it's not going to work. Let me show you what happens if I do that, let me duplicate this so I can show you. And let me have it like right here, which is off the origin, which is right here. You duplicate special that guy. Okay. So if I have a gap for this guy, right there. And now let's see, I need trying to fix it. So I'm going to type 0 on the X, and that's going to fix everything. Oops. No, it did not, because you did not create it in the origin of the grid. So now it's starting to go. In it's going to the origin, which is right here, which is why it's going all the way. And that one is because it's the uh, the um, duplicate trying to go the other way as well. So that's not going to fix it. So if you have this going on and you want to... So you did not create your model in the origin of the grid. Delete that. So first thing you want to do is delete the other side and work with the this side only. So you want to move your model back to the origin. Easiest way is you have your object selected in object mode, and up here again we can use this and we can type 0, 0, 0 on all of them. That's going to take it back to the origin. 
okay so it takes it exactly back but notice that this depends on the pivot point of your model so I'm going to assume that you have it like this so if you do that it's going to be down there which is not the origin that's not where you want it so now if that's your case you want to switch your pivot point so that it's exactly so that it lights up with the um, with the edges of this side this end of the model so to do that I'm going to press insert on my keyboard and as you can see it switches the look of my manipulator here and you can freely move this thing but we want to snap it to one of the edges here so to snap that to one of the edges hold down V on your keyboard V and as you can see when you move it, it snaps you can also just enable that by clicking here but I'm holding down V so now it's uh, I think it's snapped to one of the edges and now I'm going to press W to move that and again I'm going to type 0 here press enter and now it should be set back where it should belong where it's the origin line which is right here goes through here okay and now you can easily just go ahead and do that duplicate special again and to fix that this time it should work just fine type in 0 there and it fix the gap so that's pretty much the easiest way to fix the gap if you encounter that problem one more thing that I want to mention is that when you work with your character when you're modeling it do not ever move the whole object this way do not work in object mode okay so if you want to move this face if you're moving faces and such uh, do not by mistake move the whole object like this okay so that's moving it away from where we want it to be so doing all the fixes is not going to work or if you have the gap like this do not move the whole object like this okay that's all I wanted to say and I hope you, this fixes your problems thanks